The demand for the first NVIDIA GeForce 30 series graphics cards, the RTX 3070, 3080 and 3090 has been unparalleled, with gamers flocking to buy these game-changing graphics cards. The RTX 3080 in particular is in such demand because it delivers smooth frame rates at 4K with gorgeous ray trace graphics, yet it costs a fraction of the previous generation RTX 2080 Ti. After this initial trio of high-priced graphics cards, NVIDIA is now launching a more modestly priced card, the RTX 3060 Ti. And as you'd expect from its name, it sits below the RTX 3070, effectively replacing a multitude of previous generation RTX 20 series cards. Like its bigger sibling, the RTX 3060 Ti is based on the Ampere architecture, albeit a cut-down version called GA104. For an in-depth look at the Ampere architecture, please watch our original video on the RTX 3080. The most notable difference is that the GA104 uses standard GDDR6 memory instead of the fancy pants GDDR6X that the GA102 uses. The GA104 implementation in the RTX 3060 Ti has 4864 CUDA cores, 152 Tensor cores, 38 RT cores and 8 gigabytes of memory. We put the GeForce RTX 3060 Ti card through its paces up against the higher spec RTX 3070, plus the three closest price cards from the previous generation, GeForce RTX 20 series, that's the 2070 Super, 2070 and 2060 Super, plus the AMD Radeon RX 6800 and RX 5700 XT. AMD's latest RX 6000 series cards do support DXR ray tracing, so we tested with DXR enabled and disabled, but the older RX 5000 series cards don't support DXR. As these are all mid-range graphics cards, the benchmarks will run at two resolutions, 1920 by 1080 and 2560 by 1440, at the highest quality settings with all the eye candy dialed up to the max. All the cards were tested with the latest NVIDIA and AMD drivers using a fresh install of Windows 10 Home. And as we conducted all the testing on a 3XS gaming PC, we've put the full spec on screen for you now. You'll note this is based on an AMD Ryzen 5000 series CPU, as these have recently taken the crown from Intel for gaming. The high-end RTX 30 series cards perform brilliantly in Shadow of the Tomb Raider, especially with DXR and DLSS enabled. So we were of course keen to see how the new RTX 3060 Ti runs this game. In traditional rasterized mode with a bucket load of anti-aliasing, the RTX 3060 Ti sped past its RTX 20 series predecessors with a silky smooth frame rate of 100 frames per second. Enabling gorgeous DXR graphics always comes with a performance hit though, but with the frame rate of 69 frames per second, Shadow of the Tomb Raider is still very playable on the RTX 3060 Ti. We then upped the work for the graphics card by increasing the resolution to 1440p. The RTX 3060 Ti still achieves smooth frame rate at this higher resolution, with an average frame rate of 66 frames per second. Turning on DXR with DLSS increased the frame rate to 69 frames per second and made the game look even better, so it's well worth doing. Metro Exodus remains one of the most challenging games to run at a smooth frame rate, with the RTX 3060 Ti's average of 61 frames per second with DXR disabled, and 51 frames per second with DXR enabled are eminently playable and significantly faster than the previous generation RTX 20 series cards. Metro Exodus is a much more hardware intensive game than Shadow of the Tomb Raider and at 1440p is a little bit too much for the RTX 3060 Ti to handle. The frame rate with DXR disabled or with DXR enabled isn't bad but you'd need to start turning down some of the quality settings to achieve a consistently smooth frame rate. That or consider dropping down the resolution back to 1080p. We also ran 3D Mark Times by Benchmark on all of the cards. Despite this being a synthetic benchmark rather than a real game, Times by is popular with gamers as it's so easy to run, so it is worth including the results here. The results are output as a score with a higher number indicating faster performance. As we saw in the real game benchmarks, the RTX 3060 Ti is much faster than similarly priced previous generation RTX 20 series GPUs. 
Despite significant improvements in power efficiency from the latest AMD and Nvidia graphics cards, there's no getting away from the fact that they are power hungry beasts. Our test system drew a peak of 377 watts from the wall, with the RTX 3060 Ti far from the worst result, so a mid-range power supply of around 600 watts will be optimal. The first NVIDIA 30 series graphics cards, the RTX 3080, rewrote the rules of what to expect from a sub £1,000 graphics card, delivering high frame rates at 4K, even with gorgeous DXR ray tracing enabled. The next model to be released, the RTX 3090, was another game-changing graphics card, delivering unparalleled performance and promising to usher in a new era of 8K gaming. The RTX 3070 was another big deal, providing silky smooth frame rates at 1440p with DXR enabled. And now the latest RTX 3060 Ti is the first mid-priced 30 series card and positively demolishes games at 1080p with DXR enabled, something that the previous generation RTX 20 series cards couldn't do. It's even fast enough to run some games at 1440p with ray tracing turned on thanks to Nvidia's AI-powered DLSS. Factor in all the other value-added goodness such as Reflex, Broadcast, RTX IO and Omniverse Machinima that come with an RTX 30 series GPU and the RTX 3060 Ti is a very worthwhile upgrade from earlier graphics cards. Scan sells NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 Ti graphics cards from a wide variety of manufacturers, both standalone and in our award-winning 3XS gaming PCs. Like the other RTX 30 series GPUs, we are expecting the launch stock to sell out extremely quickly, so many of our customers will only be able to pre-order an RTX 3060 Ti. Please know though that we are doing absolutely everything we can to meet the unprecedented demand for RTX 30 series graphics card. Our team here at SCAN is working closely with Nvidia and the card manufacturers to make sure we're getting the best supply in the UK. We want you to have confidence in our approach and to know how we're dealing with back orders. Supply of the cars to scan customers is a priority for manufacturers and batches of cars will continue to arrive. Please be assured that the fastest way to get your card is to pre-order with scan. When customers buy RTX 3060 Ti cards on pre-order, all orders are held in a queue on a first-come, first-served basis. You can learn more about our pre-order promise and when stock is landing on the link in the description below.